hello guys it's queen here and this is going to be a very quick video i am dropping this video here because of something that happened just yesterday and i feel i should let people know like seriously this is a very serious something especially if you're planning to travel not just to uk but you have plans of traveling please when you want to travel one of the things you should consider first is your accommodation. I've had a lot of people, a lot of friends call me and ask me, do you know someone in London? Do you know someone in South London? Do you know someone in Bristol? I'm looking for somewhere to, to sleep. See, I want to let us know this. I'm using my phone and I, I want to be really quick. I want to tell us something. Abroad is not like your home country where you know a lot of people. Like personally, I can hardly go anywhere in Nigeria without knowing where to stay. At, at most, I have money for hotel. The truth is that when you are coming abroad, it is not the same thing. I'm being honest with you. It is not the same thing. You can't say, okay, I'll just lodge in a hotel. You are coming from somewhere. You have to change to pounds. You have to change to dollars. It is not cheap. And then for how long do you want to sleep in a hotel? For how long? So this is bring, this will bring me back to what I want to say. Please, when you want to travel, make sure you have adequate plans for accommodation. The other day, one of my colleagues found someone in a train station. She was just there. She saw her because she was a black. She just had to call out, auntie, auntie, please, I'm coming from Nigeria. This is, this is I don't have accommodation. I don't, come on, come on. And this thing has been trending, even on Twitter and Instagram, um, of people who come abroad and sleeping in the bus station and, and the railway, rail stations because they don't have accommodations. Because the truth is that even Airbnb is expensive. That like the other lady, more than my colleague, she had to book Airbnb for her so that she can pass the night. And then tomorrow, what happens? What happens next? What happens next? I have another of my colleague, he was staying from one Airbnb to another because it was expensive. So he stays in this one. At least this one had money. And he called me, he said, Queen, my money has finished. So please, first of all, you should just know that. Abroad is not like Nigeria. Abroad is not like Ghana or even Philippines or India. When you have a lot of people, you have a lot of people in your circle who are willing to accommodate you. Even here, eh? Before someone will accommodate you, they must have known you from somewhere. They can't just you can't just see somebody accommodate the person. Abroad, eh? Is the real definition of O Y O on your own. Because why? People will hardly like. You hardly even go to someone I speak with. You can hardly go to their house and sleep in their house. Because why? Everybody's on their own. And some people are managing. You see all the big boys and big girls you see. Some of them are actually sharing accommodation. And some of them, their landlords don't even allow them to bring extra person. So it's not like they don't want to accommodate you. But it's not even, they can't even do it. Some people want to do it, but they can't do it. So this is one of the things you have to put into consideration. Accommodation is one thing. I cannot stress this. I cannot stress this. Uh, I cannot stress this enough. Accommodation. It should be the first on your list after you must have gathered every other thing. And then the worst part, you should, in fact, the second part, you should know the season you are coming in. Now, I have someone, this is autumn. We are in autumn, and someone is coming in with just a jacket. Like, come on. With just a cardigan. Why? You don't have accommodation, you don't even have a jacket, a winter jacket or a jacket. Okay, what if you're coming in in winter? So it, it clearly shows she doesn't even know the, the season we are in. So what if you're coming in in winter? So does it mean you don't you won't have a jacket? The code will kill you before accommodation will start its own. So let's, the reason I'm making this video is, is not to tell you, call this number for accommodation, no. It's to tell you that it is very necessary for you to make accommodation plans before coming to the UK, even the Muslims, they lock their mosque. They don't allow people to stay in their mosque. How much more? Other people. So don't depend on religious whatever to assist you. No. Because they wouldn't even allow strangers to be in their premises. It's not like Nigeria where you'll be traveling and you miss your way. You can't enter one church. No. It's not the same. It is not the same. So please, when you are planning to move abroad, also plan for accommodation. I can't say this enough. Accommodation is difficult. Even for people living inside UK, accommodation is difficult already for them. One of our friends had to pack out. He had to relocate. Why? Because he was looking for accommodation. He wants to bring his family. And for you to bring your kids, your wife, you have a type of house you should live. 
You cannot be living in a shared apartment. And that was clearly where he was living. He couldn't see even a two bedroom. He had to relocate. Instead of looking for accommodation that he wasn't getting, he had to start looking for job another place. And guess what? His family eventually came and started squatting with friends. So imagine you having your wife and your kids squatting with all that. It is not a very nice experience, right? But that's what happened. It is not actually his fault. So this is just to tell you that accommodation is really, really, really difficult. Even for people who are in the UK. Personally, I have my own share of it. I have lived in this UK for years. And when I wanted to relocate to where I'm living currently, presently now, I lived in... in a short let, short let Airbnb house for like three months before I was able to get an accommodation, even though I stay in UK. So accommodation is not a child's play. I was paying 1500 a month to stay in a two-bedroom flat. I have another person who had to live six weeks in an Airbnb. His was, I mean, hers was even worse because she has kids and her husband and not every landlord allows kids. So she couldn't even pay. She couldn't even get an accommodation because she doesn't know anybody. Nobody to guarantee because you, uh, to get accommodation in UK is another story on its own. Which I'm still going to tell you if you want. But please, before you start coming to UK, before you start going to America, before you start going to Canada, my kid sister went to Canada and I know the problem she faced. God's willing, it was a church, church who helped her along the line. Not like the church gave her way to give gave her the church to, to sleep, but somehow the church managed to intervene. So please, oh, this is from experience. It is not easy. Look for accommodation. Even before, once you start making the process, start arranging for accommodation. Some people don't even know people. It, in fact, I found it strange that some people don't know anybody abroad. Mm, to be honest, I found it really strange. But that is the honest truth. Some people don't know people abroad. So if you know you're in this category, please now, nah, let's let's stop making ourselves vulnerable. So let's stop making ourselves vulnerable. Because I really feel for some people. And it's not... I don't know. I can't say this. I can't say this much, please. Thank you for watching this video. And please remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I'm going to give you more updates on relocation and how to go about it. Bye.